Hello and welcome to Bike India and I am Anindo Sardar. It's been an unnaturally hot summer in Pune this year, 37, 40 degrees and climbing. But guess what? It's about to get a lot hotter because what we have for you here today is the mother of all sports tourers, presenting to you the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R. The Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R's evolution story is inextricably intertwined with our quest for speed on two wheels. It was Kawasaki's answer to the Suzuki Hayabusa and even today, it is one of the fastest production motorcycles out there. Now that's a fearsome reputation to hold and frankly, the bike looks intimidating. I for one wouldn't want to see that face with those round headlamps and massive air intake in my mirrors. I'd feel like I'm being hunted down by some ferocious predator or something. As you can see, the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R is a massive, massive bike. True to the Ninja name, this Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R has a massive 1.4-litre heart with plenty of power, plenty of torque. But that's not what this motorcycle is all about. There's a lot more to it. It is a sports tourer. And what is interesting is how Kawasaki has integrated nifty bits into the motorcycle to make it very, very touring friendly. For instance, if you look right here, neatly integrated bungee cord hooks, which tuck away. Then there are these for holding your luggage. The grab rail is nice. There's an additional strap for the pillion. The seat is very large and very wide, which is very comfortable. Nicely padded as well. Uh, the riding position is a slightly hunched down, crouched out position, but it's not so extreme that, you know, it hurts your wrists all the time, hurts your back, you can't really move. No, none of that happens here. It's very, very comfortable and in its own way, quite relaxed as well. What you see here is literally the office. When you're sitting on the Kawasaki ZX 14R, this is your office. Uh, Kawasaki have chosen to go with a twin pod instrumentation. The speedo and the taco are analog, while the rest of the instrumentation is all digital. Blends a nice blend of retro mixed with contemporary. There's lots of readouts to play around with, average uh, fuel consumption, current fuel consumption, range, etc. It even shows the outside temperature, not that it matters. On the move, the first thing you notice is how easy it is to manage this machine, which at first looked so intimidating. A lot of that is down to the engine, which is super smooth and super tractable. Contrary to initial expectations, you can potter around or cruise all day at low speeds without having to work too hard. But if you want to let your inner demons loose and decide to twist that throttle hard, then 170, 180 kilometers an hour goes by in the blink of an eye. Handling is sublime too, and despite its bulk, taking on slow, narrow twists and bends is as easy as going through fast flowing corners at three digit speeds. Ride quality is firm for sure, but not jarring in its top setting. But even this is easily cured, as you will learn in a bit. This is another wonderful thing to have. These two, you can adjust the preload setting on each of the two front forks uh, to ride down to the exact specifications that you want to. Additionally, if you move down here, you will see that uh, the Olin's uh, shock absorber, the mono shock, can be adjusted for preload and compression, which is all fantastic, especially considering the kind of roads we Indians ride through uh, in fact, today also we have had some very bad roads, some very good roads, some twisties. So, being able to adjust on the fly is nice. You just stop, adjust and move on. The ZX-14R's brakes are capable of bringing this monster to a halt from 300 km an hour. So, a 100 to 0 run is essentially child's play. There's plenty of bite and progression to keep things from getting hairy. Oh, and of course, there's ABS and Kawasaki traction control too. Well, what can I say? It's been a fun day. Uh, for sure, when you have a motorcycle like this, what else could it be? But uh, I do have to give you a verdict and uh, this is what I feel at the end of the day. Uh, this is a big motorcycle. It's not a small motorcycle. I mean, look at that wheelbase. It's massive and it's bulbous. You expect it to be heavy. You expect it to be bulky. You don't, want, don't think it's nimble. But guess what? It is nimble. For its size, it is nimble, it is flippable, it is easy to ride, it is tractable. Uh, the engine is super refined, it's super smooth. I have done 20 kilometers an hour in third gear with the engine just taking over at about 1500 RPM, which is, for a bike like this, is, is quite something. Um, I think it's fantastic. Its touring ability is phenomenal. Uh, at 150, 160 kilometers an hour, you're barely scratching the surface. You know you can do 250 kilometers an hour or maybe even more but that's only part of this whole package what is 
incredible is that it's it just keeps on munching those miles without batting an eyelid and at the end of two hours in the saddle you're still as fresh as you were in the morning because it just makes things so easy sure it costs a bit uh, but then what the hell I mean uh, if you're looking at a super tourer look no further this is the machine that you want